good morning. Time now is. What time is it? 2.23. Oh yeah, turn right, turn right, steer right. After 300 feet, turn left, M5. Clank. Where's he going? Twenty-three in the morning. Turn left. It's sixteen degrees. Sixty. It's like sleeping in a tin shed last night. Oh my word! It is hot. Thirty-three On degrees M5 in the cab. Towards Yeovil for four point five miles. Going back to the yard first. Get some diesel. And then uh, onwards we go. Down onto the docks. This is what I suspect I'll do. And then uh, off to Ham's Hall. Eleven o'clock, which is good. Tip: Come out of there, park up, <laughs> go back to bed. Be my day done. Three o'clock. We parked up before three o'clock today. See what tomorrow brings. Friday tomorrow, Cracker Jack Day, going home. I haven't worked the weekend now for a few a few weeks. A good few weeks. I was going to, but no. Nah. out that way. So as you can't see Grand Deal, and it's so early in the morning that I'm having a job to string a sentence together. I'll speak to you all later on. I suspect there'll be a fairly hefty sunrise this morning, hopefully. If it's not too cloudy, I'll speak to you all later. Oh, I don't know whether the camera's going to pick any of this up. The moon, just to the right, at one o'clock, <coughs> is, uh, is red. It's only like a very slither, a slither of a crystal. It's red due to the sunrise. If that had been a full moon, that would have been unbelievable. We're charging on. Time now is 3.39. Starting to get light. few more days to the longest day and it starts getting dark again that's it job done halfway through the year so sun rises forwards I don't think you can see much so uh, I'll speak to you later don't know how much you see of the sky there 
starting to look good as a hedge to my left there. Oh, here it comes. I don't think you can see too much actually. Super bright red light over there, I don't know what that is. Salisbury, this devices road. Don't normally come in the Salisbury this direction. Again, rattle my way down through here. Apologies to all the homeowners. Sorry. 3:58 in the morning. Love me. Oh, looks like they've resurfaced the road along here. Still bumpy. old houses along here but again it's one of those places where yeah great big houses but would you want to live on this road it's a busy old road limited parking After 900 feet, cross the roundabout and take the first exit, A360, Devizes Road. Cross the roundabout and take the first exit. First thrust is going on there, sorry! Sleep with their windows open, is all near me rattling all the way on down the road. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 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 No, I'm not really. Turn right uh, what can I do? Then go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, A36, oh, start. West. I must make the foundations rattle. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Turn right, then go left on the roundabout, go left on the roundabout. I'm and gonna take go the first left exit. on the roundabout, lots of red. I 
think this is called uh, St. John's Roundabout. Is it St. John's? There's a, there's a working men's club up there. And, uh, many years ago, this is probably about 30 plus 35 years ago, four years ago, back in the bad old days. Me and my brother and all were at the time drinking in there. They had that late night opening about two, three o'clock in the morning. And there's this, uh, there's this, there's this bloke next to me. He fell off his stool. <laughs> After a oh, right, mile, mate. He says, yeah, yeah, yeah I've got to go over. I said, yeah, probably a good idea. He says, yeah. Church and way north. He says, I've got to get the train to Waterloo tomorrow morning at six o'clock. Fuck no, you. <laughs> You'll be lucky if you get out for that. He says, no, I'll go. I said, what's that? He says, I'm fucking driving it. <laughs> Cross the roundabout and take the oh. second exit. <laughs> oh, light change. Yeah, yeah. Oh, fucking hell. Bad old days. That's a good night nice out in Salisbury. roundabout if you don't get the lanes right here you're gonna be in stuck. Supposed to teach Go people to right drive. Roundabout and take the fourth exit. In and around Salisbury. And it it should be the case that wherever you take your test it shouldn't matter. So you could learn in one town and take it in another and you should be you should be able to pass because you, know, you should be able to drive anywhere. But you probably wouldn't do in Salisbury because of the way that some of the roundabouts are marked out and laid out. That unless you knew the local area you'd come unstuck rapidly. Because you'd go for the lane that you would expect to go for and you'd be going completely the wrong lane. You know. I like you to take the road to the right, third exit off, so you get into the right hand lane because the clues in the instruction. But not in that case. I don't know if you saw the old cathedral over to the right as we came down there. of a mile, go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, A36, Southampton Road. Thank you. 
Street, cross the roundabout, and take the second exit, A36, South Anton Road. Cross the roundabout, and take the second exit. Oh, we haven't seen a lot of traffic going through Salisbury, have we? Well, it's time in the morning. Four o'clock, four o seven at the moment. Follow Southampton Road towards Watton for ten miles. Green light ahead. Worked out why they've never widened it through here. It's a bit tight and windy. Slows the traffic down, I guess. I suspect that's the reason. Right, that's uh, Salisbury done. I'll speak to you all probably when I'm off the docks and going up the road. Should be a little later on. Uh, got 20 minutes to spare, so obviously I've got to. I may as well use that by getting diesel. Getting the docks just after five o'clock, and then uh, sit on the docks for as long as it takes, and then um, get on up the road. Speeches all later on. Hello. Just leave the dogs. Can't see nothing. Nobody coming, we're good. Super light box. Not even that's on the back. of a mile, turn left, Western Avenue. Six o'clock in the morning. I don't have to be where well, I need to be until eleven. Turn left, Western Avenue. Get on. I'm on there. I'm gonna get out the road a bit. Turn left. Trailer. So we were on the docks for. Uh, the time I get up here, it'll be 52 minutes. Box off, box on. Not bad. I got under my slot to get the box off more or less the same time as the uh, Stradler 
pulled up to get the box off, so that was immediate, and then I had a bit of a wait there. After 600 feet, go right on the roundabout and take the third exit, First Avenue. The docks are very quiet, there's less than 20,000 boxes on the docks. Go right on the roundabout and take the third exit. So we're not importing a great deal of goods at the moment, which means the economy must be slowing down. Grind into a hole. No one's buying, so no one's buying in. See, so without all, we're going to be seriously short of goods later on in the year, over the next six to eight weeks. minutes. After 600 feet, go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, A35, Redbridge Road. Go left on the roundabout and take the first exit. chance now do I go back to the yard it's nine I don't want to get back to the yard you know after a quarter of a mile keep left then go right on the roundabout and take the third exit so now we're in the yard and head on up Out. I don't even think there's any boats on the on the quay. yard because it's nice and safe. It should be in uh, daylight but we're not supposed to park with this particular type of box that I've got on. We're not supposed to be parking in laybys or services or anything like that. It's supposed to be straight through but Play it again. Let's play it again. I've got time, so I'll do it. I 
plus the fact it's got a seal on it that you can cut with a pair of scissors. You know what I mean? I've got my cleaner lock on, but considering it's a VIP load. So we did make it back to the yard, I did fill up with fuel earlier. I made it back in real good time. And there was no, I would have stopped. Um, so I could have got fuel at this stage. But um, there was nowhere to stop. <laughs> Coming in from Salisbury, there's, there's the lay-bys are few and far between. So unless you're stopping before Salisbury, uh, you're stuffed. Which is ridiculous. back to the yard, I'm going to take an hour off and then head up the road. We'll stop for a pee. Oh, I'll get your cups. We'll stop for a pee somewhere so we'll have time and um, crack on and finish the job. A drive time at the moment. I do is cleaning my screen. Let's give it a give it a go. Just about to go down Totten Bypass. So I thought I'd put you on in case there's any sort of uh, Seeing as uh, last Friday, last Thursday, I can't remember, I had a lady that um, decided to, that thought merge in turn, just thought she could just merge in, regardless of whether I was there or not, just turned straight into me. Um, And she found out that that wasn't such a good idea. So the insurance company and my company had a look at the footage because everything's cameras everywhere and it clearly shows that she went for an imaginary gap thinking that I would just uh, just move or levitate or evaporate I think and thought that was perfectly acceptable how wrong she was. <clears throat> so when queuing, use both lanes. Okay, well that's that's fine. But we need to get into this lane. And I'm a big truck. And trying to get into this lane whilst in the left-hand lane is virtually impossible. Which is why we get over here nice and early and just sit it out.
because manoeuvring around vehicles that are, we don't know whether we're, they're going to let us in or not is, is, is a little bit dangerous. So we get into this lane nice and early because it cuts the risk for us down. But we have to put up with or contend with looms trying to get into imaginary gaps. <sighs> so we should get there by 10.16. Might need to stop for a pee at Chilwell Valley. I suspect I will. And then crack on in there. Choking on coffee, never good. Okay, we don't appear to be going anywhere at the moment. Anywhere at all. Somebody else has decided to merge into a truck. Wouldn't surprise me. Well, proper stationary armor. <clears throat> This isn't good. Well, he's let his brakes off, so uh, go another five foot. Had debated going the other way, but it was telling me this is still the quicker way, so. I'll speak to you all later. I've just had a motorcyclist come between me and that truck there. Look how much room there is. There isn't. Yet he came on through. Unbelievable. Well done, Kalina. I'm going to have to let one of these in, but... So I thought I'd put you on just because there's another motorcyclist coming up now. My God alive. Going through imaginary gaps. If I was any further over to the right, I'll be up on the curbs.
keep an eye just to make sure none of these cars try and dive in. I'm sort of a bit paranoid about it now. You'd like to think they wouldn't, but that's what I thought the other day. Nobody's given an inch here, are they? Come on! Not that I don't trust Kalina drivers. I just don't trust them. So I'm just going to back off a bit. Uh, maybe not. Still going. <clears throat> I don't know why. What he thinks he's going to achieve by getting up level with the one on the that's slightly ahead of him. Dug his own grave now. Glad when his bloody roadworks are done, I tell you. black car down there somewhere but I can't see exactly where it is. Yes, it's close. I'll let this one through. Black car's waiting now. Very close to my back end of my trailer. Jeez, I hope he's in. Nearly up the back, arse end of me. Oh, mental.
past the danger zone down here they, they blend in I'll let one out still got to keep an eye out for motorbikes coming down here though Bikes, good. Everyone's in such a rush that they go, oh, all sense and sensibility goes out the window. You know, these roadworks have been here for weeks now, so uh, if you come this way on a regular basis, you should know. And if you don't come this way on a regular basis, you should build in time. Plan ahead. Don't go, it's gonna take me an hour to get somewhere. And leave, only giving yourself 40 minutes to get there. <laughs> oh, I've got to make some time up. Uh, and then get a 20 minute delay and then wonder why you're, you're late. Which is what people seem to do. I don't get it. I don't get it. What am I going to let out? There's a motorbike, suicidal motorbike. I hope he goes and gets out of the way. Yep, yeah, yeah, just cut in front of the car. Yep, yeah, no problem at all. Fan driver. You looking? Go. Now driving a, personally I think driving a truck is fairly straightforward. There's a, there's a motorcyclist now coming up, two of them coming up in the coned area. Look, 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 through the coned area. Which is coned off for, for a reason. After a quarter of a mile, keep left. There could be people working in there. Yeah, no, scoot along in the inside, on, on, inside the country. Yeah, that's just, yeah, brilliant. Well done. Give yourselves a big pat on the back and then you wonder why you get knocked off. Yeah, driving a truck, easy, I think. Dealing with other people's fuckwittery, near on impossible. And that's what makes the job difficult. There's another one. There's another one. Oh dear, oh dear, really? So there's a little bit of a merging down here. The trouble is we shouldn't have to contend with motorbikes coming up on our left hand side now. They should be just tucked in behind us but it's 
You never know. Okay, so I'm looking at... Now, is she going to look or not? Go on in. They've made this a bit narrow for After you. After 900 well. feet, keep left, then cross the roundabout and take the second exit. Right, we're good. Good, we're good, we're keep good. Keep left, then cross the roundabout and take the second exit. Right. We made it through. Speed you all later. Let's just see what goes on here. People all over the place, all looking uh, fairly reasonable. Yeah, all looking good, 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 good. Take the exit, A34, Winchester Bypass. Take the exit. Okay, survived. After three quarters of a mile, keep left. Okay, let's see what goes on here. We're all diving in there. White golf. So far, Keep and left. away we go. Right, speak to you all later on. Hello, so we just pulled in here, and this is the perfect example when they don't make. Lay by is wide enough. I'm going to struggle to get through here. There's a bollard there. Ridiculous. He was parked right over, so it wasn't like he was parked skew with or anything. Follow A34 towards Oxford for three miles. Thankfully, we got out. Oh, it's naughty. What's going on here? Oh, and he's broken down there. So, they should be straight in there. 99 miles to go. Need a quick splash and dash. Temperature's uh, getting up, 20 degrees. It is warm. It is warm. to uh, new services. I 
elected for a lay-by purely and simply because it's just in and out. Save myself about five, ten minutes. Even with the hold-ups up ahead, we should uh, we should be there for around quarter to eleven. It's more or less motorway all the way there, or dual carriageway and motorway. The only, thing, miles, keep right. the only thing we have to deal with is uh, February. Done four hours thirty three of driving. So back to Newbury is about two hours. So two hours up, another four hours, eight and a half, nine hours of driving. So uh, yeah, that's the plan. Is back back to Newbury tonight. That will be my plan, and then um, this box has got to come off and up uh, Silent Stevedores, which you don't normally go in and out of. So, uh, yeah, got to go in there tomorrow. And they're 24 hours, so shouldn't be too bad. in for me for tomorrow now. Make sure I can get home. It's not the end of the world if I don't, but I'd rather, I'd, I'd want to be home. In this weather I have no enjoyment about sleeping in the camp. Don't mind in the winter. But not in this heat. Being a tramper in the summer. You know, it's stuck in the windscreen.
my nothing much to see along here. I shall speak to you all later on. Hello, time now 10.19. Six hours of driving complete. Due in to location 10.46. Just about to come off the motorway onto another motorway. No lava dramas so far. Beautiful day, 22 degrees. Just going by the flow of traffic now, down to 46 mile an hour. After half a mile, take the exit, 3A, M42, towards Birmingham East Northern Centre, then take the motorway. That's what we've got to do. Joining the next bit of motorway that's always the yeah. Always a bit of a oh you never know what people are gonna do, do you? Painted in the lines there though. Uh. Now I could have sworn that was turned off. Sure, it has a habit of turning itself off. 17 miles to go. So this is the fun bit where the two motorways merge. Sells out. Good so far. There's a silver car there on my left. Is it going to come up the inside? That lane comes into this lane, so stay where I am. go the same way as we go as if we we're going to always glitch field but when we come off the M42 as if we we're going to always glitch field you sort of turn left at that roundabout and we're turning right towards Hamtall. Well 
but I thought we weren't supposed to be using that hard shoulder. But up ahead, they seem to be want to be doing doing that. No, what are they doing that? Are they using it? Yeah. Supposed to be. Everybody seems to be. No, it goes to Shirley. No, not necessarily. Seems to be in two minds whether they're using it or not. I didn't think we were supposed to be using it, but you know, there's nothing down there. Let's get back across again. This is where the signs are, are shit. Nobody knows. Yeah, they should have an arrow. A green arrow in all of these matrix signs here, saying whether you can use the lane or not. What would it take to unbolt those gantry signs and move them across one? It's all out of sync with the lanes out there. See, there's a car. Oh, oh stopped. There. Our shoulder from when to use handling. Oh no, there is a hard shoulder there. Suddenly going to be a hard shoulder there. Totally confused that boy there. It's coming up past me. Thank you. Still a 50. He doesn't care about speeding tickets, does he?
saw him saying, we are working Monday to Friday. Yeah. Hard at it, by the looks of it. And all down here working. Some piling over there. Drilling. Why don't everyone slow, slow down to have a look at the roadblocks? Yeah, had a good look. Oh yeah, better get our foot down again now. speed limit
slow down there and go, oh, why is all the traffic on the other side come to a stop? Because they're probably looking at you, wondering why you've come to a stop. Uh, M6 North closed. Oh no, just that lane was closed. I've got to go back in there. It's not looking good. But I do have one other option. Come out of here, turn right up top of M42, down the M1. So there is that option as well. But that's looking pretty shit. Have a look. Of course, that could have all, all cleared by the time I get out of it. I'm nearly in location. Not much to see. So I'll probably put you on as I leave, and then we'll uh, work out. We'll have worked out where I'm going by then. So I'll speak to you all then. I'll speak to you later. Hello. I'm not sure if um. If it was you in the uh, in the in the road sweeper, just coming off the M42, there going into Coles Hill all around this area, when it was all chock a block with traffic and cones and all sorts of shit going on, and you beeped you on and put your thumb up to me, hello. <laughs> it's chaos going around there, wasn't it? <laughs> I should have recorded, but I know there's people all over the place. After half a mile, cross the roundabout and take the first exit, Faraday Avenue. Uh, so, anyway, I'm nearly here. <laughs> Even with all this fuckwittery, I've still made it on time. Uh, anyway, yeah, just got to work out which way to go when I come out, because it all looked a bit, bit, bit sticky. I'll speak to you all later. Hello. Uh, that was a three and a half hour tip. So, there is a plan. Go right on the roundabout and take <laughs> the third exit, Faraday Avenue. Faraday Avenue. I don't know whether he's got his four ways on or whether he's... No, he hasn't. There's no chance of parking along here. Unless you get down the end here. After 600 feet, cross the roundabout no. and take the second exit, Faraday Avenue. the roundabout and take the second exit. Whoa, BMW, Jesus. We're going a slightly different way. It's uh, a ten mile away. And a Lincoln Farm Park. Lincoln Farm Park truck stop, something like that anyway. That's where we're going. 
after a quarter of a mile, go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, A446 Litchfield Road. So, um... Yeah, tomorrow. You know, I've been saying, but it's really quiet down the docks. Yeah. I ain't got a job. I ain't I'm not doing anything tomorrow. Why is it going that way? After 200 feet, go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, A446 Litchfield Road. Um, yeah, sorry, I was getting uh, sidetracked there. Go left on the roundabout and take the first exit. Um, yeah, no, nothing on the mark. So, uh, so I'm pulling over anyway now. Because it's all, and I've had enough. I've had enough. So, uh, yeah, no, there's nothing on the mark. So, I'll be a run back down, get this box off, uh, go up. Traffic here, though. It's moving. Stayed here a few times. I haven't stayed here recently, and I've heard. I don't know how true it is. I've heard that they've uh, concreted the place. it was a bit of a dust bowl. Well it would have been today, which means you can't have your windows open. Which would have been horrible in this weather. <laughs> oh, get your cups. Queue ahead, there's a queue here. I don't care, I've finished for the day. And again, um, Overdone it on the uh, overdone it on my time. I'm into a 15. Well, actually, I get that back because I've done I had a three-hour break back there. Let's get the uh, aircon wrapped up a bit. Oop. On. It's because of these bloody roadworks down here. Bikers World, Off-Road World. It's an off-road world for motorbikes.
going to do something I haven't tried yet in this truck. Ooh. And that's um, put the night heater on, but have it on the lowest setting. So it's on cold. And it should just blow air about the can. Let's see how we get on with that. Let's see. Traffic lights here. I tell you, they're doing this HS2 work. You can see how it's costing so much money. The manpower, I mean, this is all HS2 here. The manpower and construction is just absolutely staggering. It is a, it is a monumental task to do what they have to do. And the amount of machinery here, and it's like, what happens to that machinery afterwards? You sell it off. And what happens to all the people that are working here? I mean, some of these people are going to be like, this is here until they uh, retire now, aren't they? Because I don't know when HS2 is supposed to be kicking in and supposed to be ready to work, but. to go in a minute this is only the hold up this is it's the only bit of the hold up there's a little bit just a little bit further on but I'm going to uh, aim to be away by about 6 o'clock tomorrow, so get a sensible line. Ship it down, 9, finish 10. Okay, lunchtime. It should be nice. And I should be well rested as well, so that'd be, that'd be even nice. nicer. Okay, so who do you reckon? Yeah, cool dude. Who do you reckon? Who do you reckon? Who are all the bikers then? Harley Davidson, as far as none of them broke down yet. Um, who do you reckon is going to be the next Wallace company to go bust? Uh, I know that's a big dream, but who do you reckon? We've just had, um, we've just had uh, Tufnels go. They're not being bought out, they've just. Poof, And it could happen to anyone. Look at the docks. Look, 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 as well. that looks, look what is happening tomorrow. Nothing. Nothing. Still got payers. No work. After a quarter of a mile, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A446 Stone Ridge Road. Spire, that's a big old church on here, wasn't it? Cross the roundabout and take the second exit.
we are MT. Mind you, the box had. And I don't understand why it took so bloody long. The boxes were massive. Roundabout and take the second exit, A446 Stone Ridge Road. The bo there were big boxes, you know. So I don't understand why it took them three and a bit hours. I can't remember the last time I stayed here. It was a good while ago. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A446 Stonebridge Road. Mad dog is an Englishman. I'm going to leave in the morning to get back down, down south. Um, I've got to decide before I go in there. Cause I'm not moving over. <laughs> Cross the roundabout and take the first exit, A446 Stonebridge Road. I think I'm going to leave it at um, 6 o'clock. And that way I'll get a good night's... I don't get to sleep straight away. After 900 feet, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A446, towards Coventry West and South. I leave at six. Down for half eight, Cross nine. the roundabout and take the second exit. And um, job done. Take the 
exit A446 Stone Ridge Road. in a minute, oh maybe not, it's only on the slip road. Oh, what time, what time, what time. But, uh, <laughs> I can't make you mind that. Or do I get up and go leave at 4.30?
I leave at five o'clock. Leave at five o'clock. Card in at half four. Yeah, leave at five. And that way I'm not overly tired. Pretty through it. Old willow trees in it. After 300 feet, turn right, Marsh Lane, then turn left. Hey up! Yeah, where they want me to go. What time are you off in the morning? You know, always, isn't it? Oh, I love him, Jim. <laughs> it's still pretty dusty in here.
Five o'clock, mate. The back one, yeah? yeah. All right, mate. Oh, so in front of me? Yeah, mate, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 